Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you the haul of things that Eric and I got at the last rummage sale that we went to. So I think I ended up filling two bags at $10 a bag, so I spent $20 all together. Um, and I think I got some pretty decent stuff, so we're going to go through everything. I'm just going to go and order what I have on um, my notebook. Eric, um, when I had found him, he was looking through a lot of different um, horror VHS tapes so we did pick up a few I actually had one in my bag and he was kind of like looking everything up and trying to find if any of them were even worth picking up and that kind of thing and I think he set one down that I wanted to get um, but it's okay stuff happens so uh, one of the first ones we got here is this one and it's called Mother's Day so these are all horror related to some degree, whether they're like slasher movies or, um, you know, vamp or I don't think there's any vampires. I think it was werewolves. Uh, but this one came out in 1988, it looks like. So I put this one up as a buy it now for $19.99. So typically when I look for um, VHS tapes, I'm looking for um, obviously things that are still sealed. Um, vintage horror VHS tapes and things like that. Um, not all of them are worth money so if you find them definitely take the time to look them up because you don't want to get stuck with like a bunch of tapes that aren't going to be worth your time to even list. Uh, next one we got um, was called Land of the Minotaur or Minotaur I should say um, and I listed this one as a buy it now for $12.99. That one looks creepy. This next one is called The Howling. So yeah, this one looks like it was the um, werewolf one. And listed this one again as buy it now for $12.99. And then the last VHS tape I have here is called Evil Judgment. So it looks like that. And this one I have also as I buy it now for $19.99. So those are the VHS tapes that um, he decided we were going to get. I didn't look up any of them. That was all Eric. Um, next we have a perfume. Eric also found this. This is a um, Elizabeth Arden Realities perfume. So it looks like it was sprayed just a few times. This is a big bottle. It's um, three I think it's 3.4, 3, yeah, 3.4 fluid ounces. It is marked a tester. So typically when perfumes are marked testers, they don't have their caps. So this would be something that like would have been in like a department store. I don't know how people end up um, necessarily with perfume testers from department stores um, other than dumpster diving. So I don't know if that's where this came from or not, but regardless, it doesn't have its cap anymore. I um, listed this as a buy it now for $23.99. Okay, I found this and I actually got distracted by it. I was looking at something else and I kind of wish I had picked up the other thing I was looking at. But, you know, when you see something, you get distracted and then it's just all downhill from there. Uh, but I found this vintage Tommy Flip and Fold Fashion set. This is from 1981. Um, I did sell a Tommy uh, Fashion Plate set. This is kind of similar except it uses like this outline silhouette of a doll and then it would come with like fabrics you could lay over top of the doll and then it would look like she was wearing those outfits and you could like mix and match the fabrics and she comes with accessories and that kind of stuff um this only had one piece of fabric in it you can use other fabrics it's just literally small thin pieces of fabric um and then she does have um some accessories as well and these do they were selling pretty well um, themselves and I put this up as a buy it now for $45.99 okay I got two pairs of shoes these are the two that I went with um, I think I did pick up a pair of sneakers at one point Eric decided to put those back um, so I did get these Ariat brown leather like clog style slip on shoes really nice condition they have the Ariat symbol there and a little bit of like um, stitching here on the tops these are a size women's eight 
and in really nice condition. So I put these up as a buy it now for $39.99. And then the only other pair of shoes I took were these. These are gorgeous. These are by J. Renee. They're like a nude um, pump. And look at the heel on that. That is so pretty. It reminds me of like dragon scales or something like that. Um, and again, in really nice condition. I don't even know if they were ever worn. And these are a size, I believe they were an eight and a half. Yep, eight and a half. And I listed these for a buy it now also of $39.99. And these retail for like 60 something. Um, I did see that you can still buy them currently on Amazon for like 60. Okay, I got, I got these here. I still have them in this bag. These are boxes of Nespresso coffee pods. So there's 10 pods in each box. Um, I'm guessing the flavor is called Double Espresso Scuro. It's like a dark, I think it's a dark espresso. So there were five boxes. I took all five boxes. Some of them were opened, but out of all of these, only one pod is missing. So five boxes and one pod missing. So it's 49 of these coffee pods all together. So, um, and they're still good until, they don't expire until April. And I listed all of those together in a lot for a buy it now of $39.99. Okay, so my best, okay, this was probably my best find from the rummage sale. Um, this should net me the most money if and when it sells. Um, I found this vintage Brooks and Dunn t-shirt. This is a single stitch t-shirt. It is a men's size large and I mean, look at the print on this. And then the back says electric rodeo. So people have these listed upwards of like $400, which I think is kind of crazy. Um, I did check worth point and everything like that. And none of them have ever sold that high. Um, so I went ahead and I listed mine as a buy it now for $199.99. They have sold for around that price before. Um, but typically never more than that. So that's what I went with. Hopefully that sells um, quickly. That would be awesome. So that was a really great find. Um, typically when I go to rummage sales, I don't look at the clothes very well. I just scan and do a little bit of a dig. I don't go like hardcore digging. I used to, um, but as far as clothes go, I like selling clothes, but it's definitely one of those things I'm like trying not necessarily to get away from, but I'm not focusing as much of my time and energy into searching for clothes like I used to. But that one was a good one. Uh, this next item I also think was a good find. This is a vintage nightgown set. I think it's from the 60s. It's by Vanity Fair. And some of these vintage nightgowns by Vanity Fair can sell really well. So it's a beautiful pale yellow sleeveless um, nightgown. And it has this really pretty ribbon detailing along the front. It is a size small and it comes with this matching little robe that goes over top of it. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. And then the back of the robe has that same ribbon detailing on the back that is on the front of the nightgown. So I threw that in my bag and I listed that as the set. It is a size small for, um, I did list that on auction with a starting price of $59.99. Someone has one very similar to that listed for a hundred with like 13 watchers. So I'm hoping maybe one of those watchers might see mine pop up and you know, mine's priced um, a little more cheaper and maybe hopefully bid on it. So we'll see. Um, I did find one band tee while I was there. So this one was from 2014. It was for the bands Pierce the Veal and Sleeping with Siren, Sirens. And it looks like this. And then on the back it has the dates on. So that is a size medium. 
Um, and I listed this on auction because I didn't see any of this specific um, design currently listed. And I listed that for $19.99. This I just threw in my bag. Um, Victoria's Secret pink stuff, I just really don't think has great resale value. I thought that like everyone was obsessed with it. I'm guessing maybe that trend is leaving because the resale value is just not there. And this is so cute. It's a Victoria's Secret pink um, sleep shirt. It says, I don't give a frappe. I think that's so cute. It is a size small, so that isn't really doing it any favors um, since it's a smaller size. But I listed that as a buy it now for $9.99. Had it been a large, I would have just kept it for myself. Um, Eric picked up these vintage suspenders. They were still in this box here. And these are really cool. They have pictures um, of a buck head on them as well as horns and they're actually marked on the back uh, West Germany so they're definitely an older suspender so we grabbed those and I listed them as a buy it now for $19.99 and the last thing that I have for the rummage sale was a pair of capris and they look like this these are by Earl jeans and the back pockets have this really cool studded blinginess to them. They are a size 20 W and I listed them as a buy it now for $19.99. So that is everything for the rummage sale haul portion of the video. And since it's not like a whole lot, I'm just gonna add in some other random stuff that I have currently um, listed basically to share with you guys. So hopefully you are curious and want to see some of the stuff I've been listing recently. Um, Eric got this at an auction. It is a vintage candle by a company called MK is the name of it and it's this uh, snowman. He's super cute. He does have quite a few watchers. Nobody has um, Nobody has bid yet. I do have him on auction, but he looks like this. He's just a white. He reminds me a lot like um, a girly candle. Um, not girly, but very similar as far as styling and stuff goes. So we listed him um, on auction with a starting price of um, $19.99. Also at the auction, Eric won. Eric won a um, box of toys for $1. It was a lot of like um, McDonald's toys, like older McDonald's toys and stuff like that. But there were some other toys mixed in, like vintage. There was some Sweet Secrets toys, if anyone remembers those from the 80s. I haven't listed that yet. Uh, but I did get some of it listed. One of the things that was in here was this, um, this is a thumb wrestler. So it's a little, um, it's from 1985, I want to say. Um, vintage wrestler and he's got like a hole here on his back so you'd stick his your thumb in him and then you know if you had more than another one they could like wrestle with each other or you and your friend could wrestle with them so I listed him for a buy it now of nine dollars and ninety nine cents I am gonna be posting up some things over here I listed this this was in the box of the dot the dollar toy box this was a vintage Weebles, if you guys remember the Weebles. Um, this was the baby Weebles, and I listed that as a buy it now for $16.99, and she already sold. So, already made my money back on the dollar toy box and profit just right off of that one piece, and I still have a bunch more stuff to list. So, that's awesome. Um, he also won a... It was towards the end, We I have never been to this auction before, um, and it was his first time there, and I guess towards the end they said, you know, if you're interested in anything, um, let them know, and then they were going to just like auction off, um, you know, what people were interested in, and Eric saw this like tote full of just like random like Christmassy related stuff, and he decided like, oh, okay, like I'll, I'll take this. Um, and he got it for 50 cents. So I went through it and I took some stuff out of it that, you know, might be worth 
um, listing, and then the rest, he plans on going to the flea market this summer to try and sell some stuff, so we'll see. The rest of that stuff will probably go there. But these were in there, and these are really cute. So they still have their original tags on them. They're called Match Pack Playful Pet. And it actually looks like a matchbox, but inside is this really cute bean-filled Easter doll. So this one is of a little chick, hot pink. So super cute. I thought those were adorable. So it was that one and then this one here, which looks exactly the same, but it's yellow. And the other one was hot pink. So I listed these together. Um, on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I thought those were so cute. Okay, also at the auction, he won this piece, and this is so cute. He did pay, he did pay a good amount for this. I can't remember exactly what he paid. It wasn't quite a hundred, but getting close. Um, this is a vintage Relco um, Santa and reindeer planter so you could put a little plant inside of his sleigh or you know anything you could use it as like a little candy dish or whatnot but absolutely adorable I love this piece so we did have to list it on the higher side since you know he paid up for it um, so that is listed currently on a buy it now of $149.99 if that does not sell by Christmas I'm putting it out as my Christmas decorations for next, um, this coming Christmas. Um, let's see. Also in the toy box, there was this. There was some cereal premiums in there. This one was from General Mills for the movie A Bug's Life. These are all still sealed little PVC type of figures. So these, if you ever come across these types of toys... You know, these little PVC kind of figured toys. Um, one thing you can use in your title to describe them, put cake topper or cake toppers in your title. Because people who are making like birthday cakes and stuff like that for kids, you know, if a kid is like obsessed with a bug's life and wants a bug's life birthday cake, you can put these on top of the cake and then afterwards, um, the child has, you know, some little toys that they can play with afterwards. So it's just one of those things um, to kind of think outside of the box as far as like when you go to like list some things. So I put this up as a buy it now for $14.99. Surprisingly, um, those were selling for around that price. Um, this was also surprising and again came from that dollar toy box. This is a vintage California Raisins PVC figure. And I guess he's supposed to be Ray Charles as a um, California Raisin. But he was selling decently too. I actually listed him as a buy it now for $23.99. That one, that one definitely surprised me. Uh, the next couple of things I'm going to put up to the side here because they're a little larger items and they are downstairs currently. Um, Eric won a Creepy Crawlers um, set. So we listed the molds separately because a lot of times people are just looking for molds. And we listed those as a buy it now for $25.99. Next item was a die cast cat. A crane truck that we listed as a buy it now for $34.99. Um, also, Eric won the Creepy Crawlers oven as well. So this is the oven and I think he had like the little um, spatula thing to take the molds out with and everything like that. So that one went up for a buy it now of $19.99. This next item was actually in that tote of Christmas items that he got for 50 cents. We weren't going to list these, but decided to just try anyway. I'm not expecting them to sell just because they are Avon decanters. Um, but it is a whole lot of like Christmas related Avon decanters. A lot of them still do have perfume in them. And we put that on auction with a starting price of $14.99. Um, also in that Christmas tote for 50 cents was this older Christmas centerpiece. So this was really pretty. It comes in its original box, which is always, 
awesome. But it's just this like fake plastic greenery with a green um, votive candle in the top. I don't know if it's scented. I don't smell anything anyway, but it's cute and vintage. So decided to list that and put that up as a buy it now for $19.99. Also in the 50 cent Christmas bin um, were these little, they're called Lil Chimers. They are bisque porcelain Christmas bells. It was a set of four of them. I'll try to throw them up here for you. So again, not something that I think is, you know, worth a whole heck of a lot. We put them up as a buy it now for $10.99. They're cute and they were still in their original boxes. I got two um, Wedgwood Christmas plates. Now, I don't typically pick up these collector's plates. Um, these actually came in a lot of stuff that Eric won at an auction, so it's not something we necessarily bid on. But the Christmas Wedgwood plates were listed on the higher side. So this first one is called Christmas Day. And again, it is Wedgwood. It's a really pretty plate. Um, put this one up as a buy it now for $39.99. There's only one other listed and someone has it listed much higher than that. And then there was also this one and this one's called Christmas Eve. And this one I listed as a buy it now for $29.99. Okay, another item that we're going to pop up on over here was a Mr. Christmas item. This was a really large holiday skaters set, brand spanking new. Eric opened it um, to make sure everything was there, and when he opened it, everything inside is still all sealed up. It was never actually taken out of the box or used. We got that at an auction, and we listed it as a buy it now for $299.99. I got this book. This was just something that randomly came along in an auction winning box lot. Um, it is an older book. It's a service book and hymnal of the Lutheran Church music edition from 1958. So it has um, all sorts of hymns and songs and stuff in there. And there's also some like ribbons here on the side like to bookmark pages. I um, listed this for a buy it now of $10.99. I got a whole bunch of these fruit magnets. Again, not something that we bid on. It just came uh, with some other stuff we won at the auction. They are really cute though, and some people really do like magnets, but they're all little baskets of fruit and vegetables. So this one is of a bushel of pears. Um, there is corn on the cob. Um, there's two pears, two corn on the cobs. Um, we got oranges. This one is grapes, strawberries, bananas, and this one is carrots. I'll show you the carrots yet. So they look like that. So a really cute set. Um, I listed them all together as the lot. Um, and I put them up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. And then the last thing that I have to share with you is these two really cute vintage Christmas um, ornaments. These are marked Japan. So it's a little Mr. and Mrs. Claus, I'm assuming um, it is. And they're like bendable and that kind of thing and they are marked Japan there on the back. So I won these at an auction and listed them for a buy it now of $39.99. So that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize, sometimes like I don't have prices for absolutely everything. Um, sometimes when I'm getting stuff together, it's just, oh my gosh, I'm a mess still and with the dog trying to get stuff listed. We actually got a laptop um, to keep down in the living room so we can, you know, continue to list. I don't like listing on my phone. I went through a phase where I was listing mainly using my phone and I just don't like it. It's just a personal preference for me. I prefer to use a computer. That's how I started eBay. I don't know if it's just, you know, 
my mind and mentally it's just you know what I was used to and that kind of thing just prefer to use a computer <laughs> so um, we did get a laptop and I had a laptop that I used downstairs like um, where we do all of our shipping and stuff like that and I've had that thing for years and years and years it is so big and so bulky and so old and so slow so as soon as we're done using it um, up here you know while she's starting to like grow up and everything like that and ha doesn't have to be watched as closely um, that will be going downstairs and I'll be using that um, down where I'm do like all of my shipping and things of that nature and I will be making videos of that sometime I promise guys I know I've been saying it for a while but it, it will happen because I want to start eventually recording some of those some of my hauls and stuff downstairs um, where I just keep all my inventory so I don't have to lug it all upstairs to record my videos it'll just be much much easier for me so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one you have to let me know what you thought down in the comments hope everyone is doing well um, just as of two days ago um, puppy has been sleeping in the bed with us which is where we wanted to be she's getting better with um you know letting us know when she needs to go to the bathroom and that kind of thing um she's just oh my gosh learns so much so fast she's so quick at learning just doing a really really good job so i've just you know we, we're, we still have our hands really full with her but oh my gosh so much fun she's so adorable so yeah um hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time